Tonight, I want to invite you to our Mexico Mission Night on May 27th. It's at 6.30, it'll be in the bridge, and you can come hear about what our students did in Mexico, um, what our projects, our ministries, and how God just worked through the city. Good morning, it's time for the book clubs again. We have four to offer. So if you haven't joined one yet, it's not too late. Just go on our New Hope website and pick out the time and location that best suits your needs and contact that group leader and she can give you specific details. It's a lot of fun, don't miss out, and happy reading. This past January and February, we did the Daniel Plan Bible Study. And we'll be having a reunion for this Bible study on May 29th at seven o'clock here in the sanctuary. This is an opportunity if you've kind of fallen off the wagon to get back on it and kickstart the plan again. If you've been having a lot of success with it, that's great. Come and share that with the rest of the group and help to encourage them. So at seven o'clock, May 29th, and let's get reinvigorated for this plan. The walking club is right around the corner. Literally, it's right around the corner at Sunnyside and Shepherd. So the next one is Saturday, June 1st. We'll meet there at eight o'clock at the Dry Creek Trailhead at the corner of Sunnyside and Shepherd. If you haven't joined us yet, you're missing out on a lot of fun. So plan on being there and bring a friend. The next men's breakfast is on June the 8th. And this month, why don't you bring a friend? What better way to introduce the New Hope men's ministry than with a delicious breakfast? Coffee's on at 7.30, we eat at eight. So come along, join us and bring someone with you. Traditionally, we do Sunday evening services on the first Sunday of every month. But summer is upon us, so we'll be taking a break and coming back in the fall with our Sunday evening services. Today is the day we put aside to remember fallen heroes and to pray that no heroes will ever have to die for us again. It's a day of thanks for the valor of others a day to remember the splendor of America and those of her children who rest in this cemetery and others. It's a day to be with the family and remember. I was thinking this morning that across the country, children and their parents will be going to the town parade and the young ones will sit on the sidewalks and wave their flags as the band goes by. Later, maybe they'll have a cookout or a day at the beach, and that's good. Because today is a day to be with the family and to remember. If we really care about peace, we must, through our strength, demonstrate our unwillingness to accept an ending of the peace. We must be strong enough to create peace where it does not exist, and strong enough to protect it where it does. That's the lesson of this century and I think of this day. That's all I wanted to say. The rest of my contribution is to leave this great place to its peace, a peace it has earned. Thank all of you and God bless you and have a day full of memories.